It's the second episode of this session of Poker Time. That is our gold medal winning Olympian who plays a lot of hands, as you can see. Hands. He's doing great, though. He's more than doubled his initial buy in so far. It's a good investment. <clears throat> like his track coach in fourth grade saying, hey, I think I want to invest a little uh, more time in this kid. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> Why would you have to? I don't know. Be I, like uh, that. We're run we are running these. These uh, things into the ground, aren't we? See what I did there? Well, you certainly created a Paul with the way you reacted to what I said. Yeah. So now we can't really do it anymore. Good. I'm done with it. I'm done with making jokes about running. Did you reach curmudgeon age between last episode and this episode? Is that what happened? It's hard to know. The Can't rooster's thinking now. about this with the eight deuce off. Yep. He senses something, I suppose. Since rooster. Hour. <laughs> Seemed to be a little tilty last time. He ran aces into ace king all in pre from the 4K pot and DM5 turn trip kings. He's using a time card, so. I assume he's putting in a raise here. You know what? It would probably work. Yeah, I think it's going to work. Wheel might call, I guess, out of the small blind. That's but a reasonable thing. It looks like he's going to go pretty big here. Come on, yeah, come dude. That's the way this game. <laughs> I only need 30 seconds for it. 240, yeah. yeah. This might just get it all done. Yeah, Jonathan, who has barely raised, but doesn't have anything close see, to a hand to call with I here. can't see him continuing. I don't think Will's going to call 190 out of position either. Oh, oh well, Jonathan is calling. never mind. Your namesake is a little bit loosey-goosey. Apparently. Well, now Will has got an interesting spot. He's getting a great price. You know, the rooster is not in such bad shape when... Even yeah. if wheel folds, the queen and the jack are gone. Yep. Wheel does get rid of it. I like that play. I think that's right with the stack to pot being what it would be. That's um, you're right. Rooster is going to win a lot here because Jonathan just isn't going to flop very much very often, and he misses badly. Rooster must continue on this board. Yeah. This is a must continue board. You don't have to bet very big, but you have to bet. 175. It's a perfectly fine amount. Looks like he's going to go bigger than that, though. 240 or something? 245. Also a fine amount. There's nothing Jonathan can do here. I mean, he could raise, I mean, but it would be random. He could call, and that would probably work pretty well, too. Both of those would be just random acts, you know? Yep. Unless he has a tell. He does have the... Well, we think he has the jack of diamonds in his hand in the past... That's proven to be in the queen of diamonds, oh, so that's it's possible he's got queens here. You know what? You're right. His queens, it's a completely different he's spot. He's probably got queens. He probably has queens. Otherwise, he wouldn't have called that big three bet, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're assuming Jonathan actually has queen of spades, queen of diamonds in his hand. The software's been wrong, and we're actually going to be fixing that, we think, in the next 20 minutes. Well, if well, he does, that's he's got to set if he's got queens. We're going to know for sure soon. Well, we might not. Might not You're right. see a showdown here. You're right. Joseph, uh, the rooster may not put any more money into this pot. Well, whether Jonathan had queens or queen jack, that queen's got to feel pretty good. Especially if he has queens. If he has queen jack, that check has got to feel pretty good. The fact that he's betting now makes me think queens. he has queens. Yeah. Mm. Rooster's going to have to let this one go. Yeah. Now you can't bring a king on the turn this time. Wow. This looks sick, this game. It is. Joseph pretending that he had pocket kings. Yep. It's a lie, people. <laughs> Everybody lies. Yep. I lie. No ace, no ace, no ace. So at University of Oregon, you got to be tipping four flat. Power of negative right. thinking. Somewhere around there. Uh, yeah, I didn't yeah. say it out loud, though. I know. I'm you ever break four? I didn't say it out loud. Yeah, yeah, I didn't say the power three, of negative verbalization. Well, we've got something else wrong here. It says digital Dan's under the gun. All hell is broken loose yeah. with this software. But we can navigate it anyway. The interns are garbage, and uh, that's just fine. That's just life. Oh, Not at your level. Yeah. High school, college, or? Yeah, no. Just... Well, I ran in high school. Yeah. Gotcha. I ran the two mile instead. You from Oregon? But I, no, yeah. I'm from California. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. No, I guess. Maybe the professor can give Matt Centrowitz some tips on how, how to, to run, run a yeah. 
them the two miles. He used to run recreationally. My freshman year was in the same dorm as Salazar and Chapa. Yeah. I run recreationally. Yes, you do. It's actually not recreational. It's not very fun. Do you know my dad? It, your dad is... Uh, Matt Central. Was he at University Inn, too, with those guys? Uh, yeah, he was a little bit older than those guys. He was a senior when they were, like, a freshman. Oh, yeah. Did you check? Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> not, not. <laughs> those guys would get up at like 5 in the morning and just... Oh, yeah. Just a minute. Bet 100. Oh, big. Jonathan going to bet his gut shot. I like it. Yeah, especially when you can rep an ace. And you can also make the nuts. Yep. That's not the nuts, though. It would be if he had 9-10. Another bet probably would have done it. We've already seen well, that fold. Now there's not going to be any way for Jonathan to win this. Expect there's going to be a value bet from Centro and a value fold I love from Jonathan. Value folding. <laughs> like a reasonable guess. Uh -uh. Yeah, I never watched Star Wars until like this after it came out. Star Wars was really like a raise would be interesting, but it's not going to happen. Nope. Yeah. Saying, that. You said that was in 77? 1977. <laughs> I don't know why I know that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my dad would have been out there. He uh, he made the 76 team in Eugene, but he was a retro freshman, so he was there for a couple of years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Did you know like right, huh? Don wow. Clary and any of those guys? You know, any more of the track guys? But, yeah. I mean, I didn't. I didn't hang out. I was just in the same. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. Place with them. Yeah. Yeah, Alberto used to be my coach. Uh -huh, cool. Yeah, up here. Yeah. Fold. 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 Nice hand for the rooster on the button. He needs a reprieve. He's up against the two splashiest, colliest players at the and table. And they both have reasonable hands this time. Yeah, they really do. So rooster in pretty good shape here. He could win this with a C-bet. Yeah. Not sure if he's going to or not. Yeah, it's not clear. This is, this is pretty close, I think. If there was a heart on the board, I think I'd like a C-bet a little more. Just this one is heart. probably going to... Oh, it says DM5 bet 100, but we that is that. a lie. It's just another mistake by Anita, the new intern. And Centro is a non-believer so yeah. far. He's right to not believe. Well, there is now a gut shot for Rooster. Yep, he does turn some equity. Good card to continue I on. I like continuing a lot here, That's and we can see that it's going to be really hard for Centro to call again. Looks like Ace Queen. Fold. And there it goes. All right, something goes right for the rooster. Yep. Matt, all I know is I didn't, I didn't really, I wasn't real fond of those guys because they. <laughs> Always ate better food than we did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wouldn't be fond of runners now. My like dad said everyone would only drink beer after they run, and now it's like you might drink like after the season. Like, because it was like, the culture back then, you know? Right. Carb up. You didn't think anything of it. Some of the best runners were like guys that would just be alcoholics. <laughs> but yeah, 5 a.m. sounds about right. Both. Yeah. Both. Getting the old school running stories. 35. 35. Fold. Did you run again? Fold. Alright. <laughs> Give me a four. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. It'd be kind of cool, you know, if you could be like a gold medal winning athlete back in the day and like be smoking and drinking and doing heroin, and <laughs> whatever, you know, it just doesn't matter. Doing heroin? I don't know Everyone if they were doing was, heroin. Some of them were doing heroin. My son played rugby and broke his cheek. Oh, I mean, a lot of professional athletes do, do drugs these days still, you know. Probably not Olympic athletes. Yeah, I would think Olympic. I mean, they do only a particular kind of drug and only, <laughs> only some of the Olympic athletes, right? They're not doing too much heroin. Yeah, a lot of them from a certain country are known to do that type of drug. 
we've got police I don't think this story before. I mean, you have to make it a nationalism yeah. thing. I mean, like, cheaters in every country. Okay, but Russia Olympics. is, like, extremely cheaty. You're just thinking of that one documentary, right? No, I'm thinking of how they've been banned from international competition because so many of their athletes were cheating. Yeah, because you're just thinking of that one documentary. Uh, hey, look at all these hands that people have. What are you about. talking about? I'm just messing around. Let's let's focus on this. There's, there's so many hands. DM5-3 betting the Queen Jack suited. But he, Centro just flatted with Ace King, though. Oh, man. We should see a whole bunch of callers coming back to Centro. And then if he wants, he could put in the surprise four bet out of nowhere. Oh, the Jack-10 suited goes away. There's no way Ken can fold. Cool. And now it's only 100, 115 for the rooster to call. There's 500 in there. It's if, DM5. If it was suited, it would be a lot easier. Suited, it's an easy call for sure. I think Rooster's supposed to call against DM5 specifically, even though there's other players. Is he thinking about putting in a 4-bet a himself? Cool. No, he's going to let it go. It is a trouble hand in a spot like this. And Centro is going to just call here. They are pretty deep. Ace of Diamonds for Centro. And Open Ender for the Destroyer of Worlds. Yeah. Who checks it? Like, you know, let DM5 take a shot. I don't know if DM5 is going to take a shot on this board. This is a pretty rough board to take a shot on with Queen Jack at clubs. But this is the way DM5 yeah, does it. I don't think he's going to get any fold. Centro could very reasonably put in a raise right now. I like putting in a raise right away. Of course, I like putting in a raise preflop also. He's Just gonna calling. Call. That's gonna limit his value if he gets exactly. there. Exactly. It's like if he improves in any way, it's gonna be hard for him to get a lot more money. That's a pretty good card for Ken. Ken still has the best hand, but he does have the overcall on the flop from Central, which makes it tough. If indeed somehow, some way, DM5 could fire again. If anybody can get out of this one, it's DM5. Well, he's firing again, and it's now Ken's in a really rough spot. And I don't really know how he can call without a diamond. No, in his I, hand. I agree. DM5 is relentless. 500 in here with 1.9k back. Centro could just move in. It would not be crazy to move in. Now, of course, he's getting snapped by all the full houses and maybe by the over pairs that have a diamond in them. Maybe. But it looks like he's going to make a call. And guess what? He's got 91% equity if he can realize that equity. The problem is realizing it. Although, would. I think he might be able to realize it without another chip yeah. going in. I mean, can DM5 really fire again on a brick? Let's find out. Well, it is a brick. Doesn't change anything. There's a check. The M5 knows he cannot be good here. The problem is, if he's up against a nine, is he, can he really get a full house to fold? This is a spot where we've seen DM5 make small bets as bluffs before. Yeah. He could bet like 700 here, and that would probably work. It's, it'd be, I kind of love it, actually, betting 700. You fold out some of the flush draws like, like Centro has. Exactly, right? It looks like he is going to take a shot here. And it looks like about 700. So much heart. 775. I love that pricing, too. He gives himself just an incredibly good price. This doesn't have to work very often at all. The fact that he can get snapped, he's got to be thrilled about. Centro is really wishing he raised at some point right now, I yep. think. He could have raised and he could have knocked DM5 out at pretty much any street, pre-flop or post-flop. Does he have a call in him here? He has to just put DM5 on being DM5 and have, having a random bluff. He knows that DM5 does not have the Ace of Diamonds. I mean, what are we beating and what are we losing to? Like, we're, I go to, Apparently, we're, we're beating just any two random cards because it's DM5. We're losing to hands like King King with the King of Diamonds, Queen Queen with the Queen of Diamonds, stuff like that, right? That maybe take this line. Yeah. I guess there's some flop flushes in there, although he's not going to bet the river. DM5 is, he might even be betting a nine like this the whole way. I don't know if he'd bet turn and river with just a nine. Maybe. It is top full house. It's hard to put Centro on a hand like two tens or better. Really hard. Pretty tough to watch Centro count out those chips and just oh. stay still and keep shuffling those chips at the exact same frequency. <laughs> That's why you don't shuffle chips in a hand, you know? You know, I do love this sizing, but perhaps a better sizing, like looking back on it now, is actually more like 1,200. So it put Centro back to like being even on the whole session. So he'd be like, he'd be forced ah. to give up his entire profit. Some people do think like that, I suppose. Yeah. I think a lot of people do. And then it makes it more, makes it, the whole decision feel more binary. 
it's kind of hard to know exactly what the player has and what he started yes. with at every point, and it works out. Wow, he gets the fold. And, and he, he shows, shows it. Oh, that's oh. going to hurt. Centro's holding the pain in for now. He's got that far off look in his eyes like, man, I wish I could just punch this guy. <laughs> wow. What a hand. What a hand. Well Not many people can do that. Not many people have the heart to like fire three bullets yeah. like that on, the, on that kind of a board. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I think it might no, have no, been I'm due saying, to yeah, Centro's behavior on the turn. He looked yeah. a little yeah, pained. Yeah, I think yeah. it seemed genuine. I think the M5 yeah, read it as genuine and thought maybe Centro has a sure lot of nut flush draws here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it makes sense. Now you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, at least my ace was caught with a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't want you on that. That's a merit. My ace was a diamond. Yeah, still. But the boy's really right now. Yeah, for sure. I think I'll be the same. Yeah, that was just the cream. I, I actually was thinking, I don't know why I was thinking 3 4 for you. I don't know why. 3 4? 3 4. Yeah, yeah. 180 free flop? I was thinking 3 4, three four suit. I, I thought you might have bought a flush. I don't do such a thing. 180? I don't know. Uh, I've done it. <laughs> yeah, but like, not in that particular Yeah, I guess. I guess. Cool. Did somebody do lying? All right. you, think well. it's, you think it's hard for Centro after a hand like that to not just challenge DM5 to a race? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's got an ace Everybody here. misses except Digital Dan has the nut flush draw. Rooster currently has the best hand. DM5 with the gutter. Bet 75, both. Probably this is going to do it. Nope. DM5 is feeling bulletproof. Absolutely. And he hits a king now. Dan also hits that king, and it's a chop it's right now. It's a chop. Now. So Dan's free rolling, unless a 10 comes. Yeah, it, there's only th two outs for DM5. Oh, wow. this guy runs so good. <laughs> it's crazy. Look at him check. Well, Dan has a perfect hand to check back. I it's an interesting check there when Dan checks the turn. So Dan is never going to bet a queen there on the river. So you're hoping he has two spades, I guess, just two worse, two spades that aren't so downable. And take a shot. It's hard to get value there as DM5, I guess, no matter what. It is. It is. Maybe Dan could have an ace sometimes. A bad ace. Yeah. Is he going to bet the river with a bad ace? When DM5 checks again? Maybe. Maybe he will. DM5 specifically likes to call a lot, yeah. actually. Maybe he will. I do not hate the check by DM5. I think I like it. Although you're so bluffy. Your image is so bluffy. Maybe a lead is better. Yeah, that's a good point. You can have missed spades as DM5. You just showed that huge bluff. Call. <laughs> Jack high flop for the professor. Check. Gut shot for a rooster. Check, check. Bet 50. That is a very small bet by the professor with top pair. So Ken is considering it with bottom pair. This is a pretty check. wet board for $50. <laughs> yep. For less than 25% of the pot. I imagine we're going to see the rooster stick around. I don't see how he couldn't. Heads up. Rooster, though, has himself in a pretty good spot here. Just got to dodge the four sevens. Check. Check. Well, it That's is an eight and a spade. It's a scary card. And I think it's time for the Rooster. To, oh, Rooster does not take a shot on the river. I'm surprised. That eight of spades is such a good card.
We are back. Feels good. Back like Eminem and Kanye. And Napoleon. Is he a rapper? Yes. <laughs> Central flatting the under the gun open with ace eight off. Yep. That's uh That's that is loose. Five, that is loose. Esque. No doubt about it. Things are working for him though. Jonathan with the real hand and it looks like he knows it. He's going for that three bet. And if Centro could have found a call against DM5 in oh that other hand, God. he would be having a monster session right yeah. now. <laughs> Jonathan again with that tiny three bet. Yeah, this is problematic. <sighs> so we could very reasonably off. call this. Of course, there is the under the gun open, which sometimes is going to four bet, but not too often. I think I just fold because of that opportunity. Well, yeah. With just a six high in the big blind. Let it go. Yeah, I think it's not crazy, but the pricing is. Usually a three bet is not this cheap. Yeah. <laughs> probably like, there are probably better suited connectors we can call with this wheel anyway. Central flops best. So things are going well. Jonathan will see bet. Rooster's going to see if he can hit a gut shot here. He's trying to DM5 it up. He's got a backdoor flush draw. Jonathan does not like to see two calls there. No, I Time imagine. To shut it down. Wow. What a turn card. That is a. He's got the whole world drawing dead. What a freaking turn card. And now he's got a flush. So he no longer has the nuts, actually. Well, Centro makes aces up on this river. Yeah. Oh, and Rooster checks again. Wow. Centro might have to pay off a check raise. After Rooster takes such a weird passive line. Jonathan has a pretty easy decision here unless he decides to raise, which will not work. Anyway, I do not believe. He lets it go and you gotta believe Rooster's gonna raise here, right? Yeah. He just has to raise with the second nuts. Centro thinks he's on easy street here. I would think so. And having the ace of hearts in your hand is a pretty good reason to call this raise, by the way. Assuming, assuming, a raise, assuming a raise comes. I, I would guess a raise is coming. Looks like it. Raise. There it is. What a wacky story the rooster has just told. Checking turn and river and now check raising. I don't think I could get away from this hand in this spot. I got to tell you what. Even though I know I wouldn't be able to beat any value. You could turn into a bluff and move in. Yes. You block the nuts. But I might feel like my hand's a little too strong to bluff with. You know. But you're not beating any value, like you said. Yeah. That's true. What a super sick river. I don't know if Rooster's going to get away from it for only 930 more. He's putting half a stack. There's you mean the call. If, you mean if Central were to move yeah, in? Yeah, I, if you were I wasn't to move expecting in. that, really, but... Yeah, the call the call is reasonable, certainly. Yeah. And there's the bad news. <laughs> just don't see too many raises on the river when people don't have it. They just have it so much. It's kind of crazy. I would have loved to see what would have happened if Centro had found a move in as a bluff there. Yeah. How could you put him on anything but the nuts? I put him on. He's a he's a runner, not a poker player. I call <laughs> yeah, with the I second guess. nuts. That's what I put him on. Yeah. I also put him on. I don't have to call with something. If I'm if, I'm, if I can ever call with anything but the nuts here, well, here we go. This is a pretty good hand. You have to put him nuts. on being able to take the nut flush blocker and turn it into a bluff. Or maybe just um, maybe he's overvaluing the third nuts. Yeah. It's not impossible. You know, maybe he's got a straight and doesn't see the flush. But I mean, I like, with, with your hand, you block the third nuts from Centro's perspective. Like, Centro wouldn't put himself on the third nuts if he had the third nuts because you have the jack of hearts in your hand when you're the rooster. I didn't follow that. Okay. I tried. The audience probably Like, I'm did. saying the queen high flush 45. would be the third nuts, right? Wasn't the queen of hearts out there? Or was it the queen of clubs? I think it was the queen of clubs. Ah. Then yes. Mm. Anyway. Well, that's a flop. Centro flops pretty well here. It's got an open-ended straight flush draw and a jack. That is pretty good. Everybody has something. The rooster's got the weakest 
hand here by a mile and a half. Although he does nominally have a straight flush draw. He does, although all his outs are either blocked or dead. At least currently, I guess he could turn an eight and the board could pair. Jonathan with top pair and the open ender. I don't think he no can just diamonds. Go, I don't think he can just go folding here. It seems like a mistake to just fold, especially you're the guy in position to the whole world. I think you're supposed to call at least once. It is a precarious spot there. There are two people behind you. He does just let it go. Decides discretion is the greater part of valor. I almost just said that. Really? Yeah. Pretty straightforward call here for Central. <laughs> and <laughs> and the lights fall on wow. the Olympian. Hopefully, I hope we have insurance. Is that, that guy, uh, what country is behind this? <laughs> <laughs> who was number two? Who won the silver in 2016? If we're going to injure anybody on poker time, does it have to be the gold medal winning Olympian? <laughs> He's running in 2020 if they have the Olympics. Don't attack him physically, please. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> That's the only time in the history of poker time, I think, a light has actually fallen on a player. Yeah. That's going to change the game. <laughs> we never had that before the curtain. We never had problems before the curtain. That's right. That's the quality content we're all here for, right? Yeah. <laughs> Seems like he's okay. Hold on, did you sign the waiver? Oh, are these blacks? I know where you can pick up a nice poker house. Yeah, you know that waiver. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Centro turns trips. That's what you get for getting a light on your head. Yep, that's a reasonable deal here. You gotta put something on that. This suspense was great because it was good. <laughs> Digital, Dan, and Central both make the straight. Pretty unlucky run out for Central considering the hands on the flop. By the way, uh, the rooster would have made the full house on oh, this river. Yeah, he would have. Dan's going to just call here. Yeah, right? it seems crazy to raise. I, I don't think he can fold, right? I don't think anything but a call is, is possible here. Cool. And there it is. Everybody. He didn't. Sandra didn't get paid enough for having a light fall on his head. Agreed. By the way, we did fix the uh, that queen of diamonds. As you see, the queen of diamonds was on the board oh, yeah. along with the jack of diamonds, so we got that fixed on the break. Small price to pay for hitting an Olympic athlete with a light. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying for my perspective. I got two folds on the flop, and right, they need one more. <laughs> for my perspective, that's all I'm saying. I know. I know. Nice, Emma. It's possible that once it fell down, you already had a sick river for you. <laughs> Yeah, Centric got a little unlucky there since he had Digital Dan in massive amounts of he jail. He had a better pair, and he had the, the flush draw to go with his straight draw. Yeah, Dan had... Kind of torn. There was two, two eights left in the deck, and there were two kings left in the deck. That was the only ways Dan could get a chop. <laughs> Thing else was a loss, but... The intern. All right, three players. Two gut shot. Jonathan's going to bet his gut shot. This might just work. Nope. Best hand goes away. Jonathan bets again. This is probably going to work now. Showing some heart.
digital band. You're big, David. Looking a little perturbed by DM5 yeah. consistently leaving and coming back. Throw some punches. Let's go. Yeah. I want to see it. Digital Dan versus DM5. They're fighting for the the D. <laughs> Is that what they say? Yeah. Fighting for the D. I think that, might be, old, that might be taken on the wrong way. For old <laughs> <laughs> that was the Rooster's uh, sweatshirt, right? Fight for old dick. Yeah, that's what it said. Yeah. <laughs> And Dan had a T-shirt that said like Vag Patrol or something <laughs> at the same time. Profits of of Vag. Profits of Vag. My bad. My bad. It's like our camera got slightly <laughs> not yeah. askew there. That's gonna be another thing we're gonna have to fix down the road. Yep. Probably for next episode. This has been a fun one <laughs> with all the. I mean, you know, if you want to see an Olympic athlete get hit in the head with a light, you know, you're gonna have some camera issues after that. You can't have both. I mean, you. Can only have it's like a cool angular shot now. Yeah, think it's of it like that way. Cinematic. Wes Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little train behind him going choo choo, you know, Wes Anderson style. Reasonable raise on the button from Centro. Boy, if the last four in the deck comes off, we're going to have fireworks. Oh, my goodness. Uh, open well, ender here for DM5. Check. Yep. Centro is going to fire away. I don't see how Digital Dan can reasonably call here. Well, it looks like he's decided to call. Yep. He's right this time. He's currently right, but he's got to dodge a lot of cards. Not that one. Nope. Check. But Centro could really win by taking a shot a here. A real bet here would maybe do it, but he checks it right back. Another king. Interesting. Centro's got... The best hand. The best hand. DM5, going to bluff. This is going to work. Well, based on the actual hands, yeah. Centro should have a lot of aces in his hand. I'd be worried about getting called there, but DM5 just makes everything work. It's kind of incredible to watch. Yeah. He's not always right, but he does seem to have almost a sixth sense about when he can get away with stuff and when he can't. He does. He does. It's a good quality to have in No Limit Hold'em. Yep. Can make up for those preflop ranges. I mean, we really have seen him time after time get away with playing ranges that just can't be profitable based on his post-flop play. <laughs> whistle while you work, according to the professor. Was that the professor whistling? Yeah. Raise to 40. I thought it was you at first, but it was the professor. Hold. You thought it was me? I looked over to see if you were what if you were whistling. It was not you. So you just have no idea where sounds are coming from. Call. I mean, I heard whistling from Call. they were coming into my ears. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they are were coming. coming from outside my ears. <laughs> That's correct. That is everything. Digital Dan with an interesting spot here. He certainly could just call, but this is not the worst place in the world. I guess Jonathan opening under the gun, it's a bad time to three bet. Look how many people, though. Now we're six handed. It's going to take two pair or better to win this pot most of the time. I don't know if that's true. Well, top pair for Jonathan and Digital Dan. Looking pretty good for Digital Dan right now. Yeah. DM5 has got middle pair and. I think we know if there's no raise, he's going to stick around. Hold. Hold. Call. Clearly no folding here for the digital one either. Call. Fold. Three players. Yep, it's going to take two pair or better to win this pot, well, as I said. DM5, he plays well post-flop, and he runs pretty well, too. How about that? I was really in my heart rooting for a 9 or a 7 just so I could say that to you. and You got me, man. It did. It happened immediately. That was pretty great. He's just then going to lead here. Bet 225. Well, he's controlling the size of the pot by doing so, at least for now. Mm 
Dan is actually beating Jonathan, but he has to assume he's losing to Jonathan. Turns out DM5 is the problem. This is a whack hand. DM5 with just the call, because it's kind of hard to know where you are with oh nine, yeah. nine no kicker here. Digital Dan can absolutely have you. And now Digital Dan has top two, which is another weird thing to have, especially because Queen, Ten, and Diamonds both got there. Yep. I would expect we're going to see Digital Dan check because the Diamonds come in. Maybe he thinks he needs to go for value. No. This is going to be problematic for Digital Dan because I assume DM5 is not going to check. And he's the guy you can't just go folding to. Oh, oh he, he does, does check. He said, it's so tight. I'm so tight. This <laughs> is so tight as he checked. It's not that tight. No. We've got no kicker. Digital Dan would have a better nine and play it just like that. So. Both obvious draws just got there, too. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be that bad to check. But I think Digital Dan was probably calling. Probably. It's hard to know. With Jonathan behind? Yeah, but you're usually beating Jonathan if you're Digital Dan. Usually. I'm happy with the river because I'm going to have to call when, when he presumably does. And I mean, I don't have to. I can't Can under the gun in the twilight zone. That's what we're going to call this corner of the table for now. Okay. Imagine, if you will, the destroyer of worlds. Imagine, if you will, a man with white hair who destroys oh. worlds oh. under the gun with a pair of sixes. Oh. Is he having meatloaf for dinner? Oh. Nobody knows. You have to find out on the scary door. Oh. On the what? The scary door. It's a Futurama oh. reference. Oh, okay. I know I didn't know I was that. with you all the way till you said that. Oh, well, it's because you didn't watch Futurama. That's correct. Flush draw for the rooster. You almost did the rooster thing, I but know. you thought better of it. Yep. And the rooster gets there. DM5 with a pair of tens. The professor is double gutted. But everyone's drawing dead. For 50, though, I don't think we're going to get all folds. DM5 puts it, uses the small denomination chips for the call. He doesn't want to get rid of any of those big ones. Professor just gets rid of his double gutter instantly. He may not have realized it was a double gutter. Sometimes those are hard to see. Yeah. Maybe he just knows four ways it's not a great spot. He was right if he did. I think we're going to see a call here from DM5 a lot. Super value, huh? With the ace five. There it is. Good enough for that. <laughs> Well, DM5 was finally way off with his read. He put Rooster on Ace-5. Well, he loses to Ace-5 anyway. He does, but still. Yeah. Well, the Rooster did bet really small twice. He's going to get that uh, that $2,000 he lost on like the fifth hand of the, the session back. Paper cut by paper cut, apparently. That with one big stroke of the machete. Different methods. Yeah. Well, here we go. Time for the digital raise. Raise 125. Oh. I like that sizing so much more than some of the other sizings we've seen for a three bet. You're thinking of Jonathan's sizing in previous yeah. hands. Other people too, though. But yes, I am. Back to Centro. He's going to have to call this one. I mean, he would call it whether he had to or not, but yes, I agree. This Th with this call. hand, it's a mandatory call. Yeah, they're certainly deep enough. Centro down to 1.8K. Well, he does have the front door straight draw and the back door flush draw while Digital Dan has top set. Well, that's pretty good. Would be reasonable to continue if you're Centro here. I think he has to continue for 125. Getting better than three to one. If a ten comes in, it, he's got a chance to win a big pot. Turns out he's got a chance to win a huge pot if a ten comes in. And there's well, a club. That's a pretty interesting card. Digital Dan should bet again. 
Yeah, no reason to slow down here. But he does. He's worried that Ace is going to scare off Centro. And wow, There's Centro the makes club. the nuts. Wow. So sick. It's the second nuts, but, you know, effectively the nuts. Oh, yes, you're correct. Second nuts. There's the bet. I don't see how Digital Dan won't raise. I could see him not raising. Centro could have nine X of clubs. Okay, sure. He could have a lot of Jack other things. Jack 10 of clubs. He could have ace nine. He could have ace queen. He could have just so many things. He could have pocket nines that he slow played on the flop. Seems unlikely. How about oh. the other things I said? Sure, but... I mean, ace queen, pretty unlikely, I guess. Yeah. We blocked that. Still... Based on how Dan played it, when he checks the turn, it seems like you just have to go for value here, I think. We've also seen Central call with the ace eight when he got raised on the river. He, ra he called with two pair before yeah. on a flush board. Looks like he is going for the raise. Yeah, I, I like it. It's not going to work out. <laughs> Every time I like something, it's we know already it's not going to work out. Well, Centro's going to probably just move in here. That seems like the obvious play. But does he know the Digital Dan's favorite hand it's is four deuce. four deuce? I think you got to move in either way. Yeah, there's still just one combo of four deuce that beats you, obviously. Well, there's there's, there's Dan, the move in. now regretting the race. Well, now Dan should know he can't beat anything. Centro would not do this with Ace Queen or Ace Nine. No, and I don't think he'd do it with the set either. I mean, the question is, would he do it with two nines, right? That's what we're kind of down to. I would say most players would not. Right. When the clubs are there. Yep. You have to believe he can't read the board. We also have a club in our hand, which is relevant here. So you're, th you're thinking that makes it more of a call then? Guess, I guess it does make it more of a call. I still don't want to call, though. But it does block clubs a little bit, right? Blocks queen X of clubs. Queen X of clubs are the most likely clubs that Centro could have yeah. played this way. So and there is that. Jack 10 and king jack of clubs make plenty of sense. King 10 of clubs. I mean, 9, 10 of clubs. 9, 10, 8, 9, 7, 9. Yep. 6, 9, maybe even in maybe. this range. Any calls? Well, the... Good news for Digital Dan is if he had bet the turn, he was going to lose anyway. That's a rough one, though. Yep. Huge win for Centro. Centro proving that it is indeed always funner when you go runner, runner, and when you are a runner, runner. Yeah. Why you got to be like that? Combustion. Because I'm, uh, I'm giving you what you gave me earlier. Why you gotta, How does why, it feel? How does it feel? Why, why do you have to be that kind of a person, though? Can't you just enjoy the moment and not, not be like, I get revenge? You're a revenge type guy. That's how you. Yeah, live. you knew that. That's how you live. By the way, this is a monster oh, pot. It is. Four thousand dollar pot. I will always seek vengeance. Anybody who has ever given me a negative comment on YouTube, you, you know, it's coming eventually. Yeah, he's got a list. I'll yeah. just say that. Definitely has a list. How about Digital uh, yeah. Dan flopping top set, and just getting wrecked? Yeah, just getting absolutely destroyed. Wrecked. I don't know if he had to make that call on the river. I do like the raise. I know you're, you're saying he doesn't have to raise there, but I do like the raise. But against that player, but I think you probably do have to make the tight fold. <laughs> I think. The queen of clubs was maybe the determining factor. <laughs> maybe. Well, yeah. that, you know. That's a reasonable way to make supposed the decision. That is supposed to move you, yeah, towards the call. Centro back to having a good session. Yep, he had uh, been knocked almost all the way back to even. and Below even, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. That is no limit is so painful. You go from having $2,000 in front of you to 75 like Dan just did. Yep. When you flop top set <laughs> and the obvious ride does not come in, the jack-10 does not come in even. Ooh, that's rough. Well, we've got a problem for Ken here as he flops top pair, but the professor has him out kicked, and it is the button versus big blind dynamic. Well, Ken's going to lose some money. That's just what's up. The professor should have a plan to go for three streets here. Absolutely. He, he, he should bet... Well, that's going to hurt his chances to get a lot of value, actually. He's, now, he's definitely going to go for three streets, but does he only bet 50? Yep. Well, he, if he bets tiny, he's going to get called three times, but that's what we're down to now. Check. Does 
Whoa. Wow. The professor just checks it back on the river. Wow. Well, Queen Ten got there. Uh, how Deuce does Ken have, how Deuce does Ken have, is the flop nuts? How does Ken have it's the turn nuts in fact, but how does how does Ken have Queen Ten? You're right, it's the turn nuts. Um I'm just coming up with hands that you could decide to check back against. Um set of jacks gets there. Yep. On the river. Didn't three bet pre flop. Top set of didn't, aces gets didn't there. Three bet pre flop. Yeah. I, that is a wow. shock, that is a shocking check back. I can't believe he didn't go for three streets, especially when he bet so small on the turn. Yeah. But I mean at any whether he did or not, that's small on the turn, I would think. I can't believe that is really shocking. After watching Digital Dan try and squeeze that extra value, we had a whole debate about whether he should raise and all this kind of stuff. See the professor or not <laughs> bet the river there. Now, I don't necessarily think he would have gotten called if he had bet big. He may fairness. not have, but, but if he bet still, small, he might have. And sometimes Ken decides to call. There's Ken's not really sticky. that much to be afraid of with no. the lines that the players took and the sizing and everything. Ken absolutely <laughs> could have rivered an ace. He calls a lot with an ace, turned an ace. high. Sorry, yeah, turned an ace. He calls a lot with ace yeah. high. Um, and also, he's pretty sticky once he has a pair. So it might have worked. Anyway, moving on. There's a 10 for Dan and Wheel. Gut shot for Jonathan. Yeah. The Jack of Diamonds is in Digital Dan's hand. Cut. Not literally, of course. There's nothing in his hands except Cut. oxygen, nitrogen. <laughs> what are you saying? Air. Just air. What it? about calcium? Well, what now, about we're iron? Really, now we're really getting somewhere, aren't we? That we're finally getting to it. <laughs> Will leads the turn. Sure. Makes sense. Yeah. Digital Dan has a pretty straightforward call here. Call. Jonathan could call. Looks Jonathan like he's going to. Looks like he is. Yeah. There it is. Hmm. Jonathan's drawn a little thin here. 8%. Wheel does win with the kicker right now. You know, that four is an interesting card, though, because that brings in 7-8. Seven, 7-8 eight. Seven, eight is a pretty reasonable holding for everyone. Deuce 3 also could be in somebody's hand. I guess. Not as likely, but I guess. Digital Dan's hand is a little too good. Now, Jonathan could take a shot right now. There's 275 there. $225 could just win this pot. He checks it back. If he, if he took a shot, it would be a thin representation. It would be repping 7-8 or yep. hand like 6-4. Mm-hmm. Five four. That's right. But there wasn't a whole lot of enthusiasm for the pot shown by any player there. You know, checked around on the flop. Yeah, they small need to bet on the flop. Small bet on the turn and a call only. They need to do some team building exercises or something to show more enthusiasm. Yeah, energy, yeah. excitement, enthusiasm. Yeah, it's powerful. Motivates people, builds morale. Trust falls are a scam, though, man. That that shit doesn't work. Have you ever uh, actually done a trust fall? I've done a trust dive. That's what you got. You get on like top of a tree and you dive into a group of people. Oh, yeah? How high up were you? 700 feet. That is not believable. I haven't done any of that. That was not believable. I've, I've never been to a team building exercise. Of course you haven't. They've like, never had a I've job. I've been to an individual building <laughs> exercise. What does that mean? It's me <laughs> shouting at myself in the mirror. It's like you like <laughs> playing with a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Just shouting at myself motivational quotes. I mean, that's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. Sometimes I run out of material and I just start yelling, Tony Robbins, over and over again. I mean, there are people who like Tony Robbins. That's there are people who like Tony Robbins. Everybody's suited. <laughs> I mean, he's got two back doors. And he's got the uh, the lead in the hand here. And unless Rooster decides to get sticky, he's going to get it through. Now, Rooster probably is going to decide to get sticky. I don't know. Queen, 4-4, four, four, no clubs. Yep, oh, you're right. He's sticky for at least a little more. And Well, that's not a card DM5 wanted to see, meaning it didn't give him any additional equity. Nope, and it's not going to scare too many hands that felt comfortable calling on the flop. This is a hand that might end up finding a fold, but there aren't too many. And look, Ooh, Rooster's, Rooster's making a move. Yep. So we're repping a, a queen or a four here, mostly. And 
He turns out he has the best hand, but he might not have been able to get to showdown and realize yep. his equity. That might have been the only way to actually win the hand. Yeah. Unless he decided to just be a real hero, which is possible. We've seen it before. Yeah, usually not with ace high, but we have seen it. We certainly have seen him make some big time hero calls, sometimes right, sometimes wrong. Like, wow, for yep. lots of money sometimes. <coughs> He's not going to play this one, right? No. We're not connected enough. He does play a7 off there, though. Well, yeah, different. <laughs> you can make the nut flush. True. I, I, I mean, you can make the nut flush with the king also, but it's harder. It's, it's a, there are fewer paths. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Weston. Clam Weston, yeah. I'm kind of loving this new camera angle. It feels like a spaceship crashed into us or something like that. You know, everything's that would be awesome if a spaceship crashed into us because we could sue them so hard. Think of how much money somebody who can buy a spaceship has. Well, what if it's not a person? Yeah, alien dollars are worth more than American dollars. Wow, that's a real assumptive thing you just said. Yeah. I don't appreciate it. Like, think about everyone else. You clearly haven't read any Asimov. <laughs> I have read Asimov. <laughs> I'm sure I could name more Isaac Asimov books and stories than you. Foundations <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, mm -hmm. 13. That is not how the sequels are named, but fair enough. Can you name any other Isaac Asimov books? Um, there's one There's one that's pretty easy. I, I'm struggling. I can. There's a short story. I forgot what it's called. Hmm. But he wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Here's the Isaac Asimov book, just in case you're wondering. I, Robot. Oh. That was the easy one. I just forgot that it, about that being Asimov because it turned into such a terrible movie. Sure. They're actually making a Foundation uh, TV series, I think. Oh. Probably for Amazon. That's going to be a huge project if they try to do it right. Yep. <laughs> anyway, we've got a new game poker hand. Right, right. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ace 10 for the professor. Best hand. Overs and the gutter for Centro. Gutter for DM5 as well. That is incorrect. No gutter for DM5. Backdoor gutter. That's what I meant. Backdoor gutter. <laughs> sure. Just backdoor. Oh, yeah. Do I win without a hand? So bad. <laughs> first. Yeah. I cleared out some of the riffraff, as you see. Checks. The professor does not bet the turn. Yeah. And, and <laughs> forget the hundred. Mm -hmm. say you're correct. What good defenders are these? Able to Interesting that Central's thinking yeah. here. Right. I guess he just and takes his time. No, no, there's say. Oh, he's just thinking about raising. I assume and not calling. If he's thinking. Yeah. yeah. Would have uh, been a cool time to raise. Yep. No help Most times are cool times to raise, though. Right. Yeah. Like it's pretty cool to raise. Raising is badass, man. Yeah, raising is like extreme. You get a leather jacket for raising. You already have a leather jacket if you raise, though. True. You also have a ponytail, probably. And tats. A ponytail, huh? <laughs> yeah, nice, nice, pretty ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know, hair scrunchies. You probably have those for your ponytail. <laughs> okay. I can get behind it. Yeah. You know, you got to really take care of your ponytail, too. You got to wash it. Yeah, it's got to be silky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you use suave. Suave is, is, is shit. <laughs> but it's perfect for ponytail. <laughs> Badass ponytail wearers. <laughs> all right. Five hearts out there. So basically, you're saying Todd Brunson is the biggest badass of all time. I mean, leather jacket, ponytail. I don't need to say it. It is known. Open ender for the rooster. Gutch out for Centro with overs. The Last Question. That's the name of the Asimov short story I was thinking of. Huh. It's a good one. Asimov actually has a number of good stories. Players yeah. already have one player that doesn't pass the ball, so they're just going to get another one to see if that works. No, I'm, I'm saying that I think that they... Centro think with the call. The guards move it around more than, than Westbrook or West, more than Harden, you know. Harden had a lot of assists. Boy, you know, saying. if this could run out 3-6, it would just be a... Super sick disaster. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Digital Dan with the call as well with uh, overs in the back door flush draw. Maybe some plans as well. Maybe. He does have the best hand currently, but let's see how this plays out. This might just check through. That would be cool if Dan gets to win with Jack High. That would be quite cool. There's a $300 pot that Dan just gets to win. Rooster could bet this again because 
He feels like he doesn't want to check call, but a lot of time if he checks, Central will check as well. Sure. Especially sure. on the 10. Free card for the world, and the rooster makes the best hand. I feel like Digital Dan's going to take a whack at this, though. Yep. The rooster's in a tough spot with Central behind him. Didn't seem too tough. Nope. It seemed real easy. Here comes the rooster. It's card on the river to make the best hand. Yeah. Yeah. Some accurate reporting. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't about a read on you. You know, uh, what, what, what is Isaac Asimov <laughs> most famous for as a storytelling sort of convention? The, his name sounds a little bit like ass. <laughs> Isaac ass. And yeah. Mob. Yeah, that's good. That's exactly right, of course. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> but he also did invent something that was used in science fiction storytelling for decades. Was it aliens with hot boobs? <laughs> <laughs> We're really mining some comedy gold here. <laughs> the three rules of robotics, actually, but but at least with hot boobs was a good second. Was like a close second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Jonathan limping the sevens under the gun. And we might just have an unraised pot first time in a while, and there could there's, there's a lot of hands could have raised here. But some gut shots. Top pair for Centro. Check. Centro seems to flop a lot of top pair with his weak aces. It, he really does. Must be that 40? lung capacity. Call. Call. Gut shots are coming along. Call. As is DM5. DM5 with second pair. Mm-hmm. Probably doesn't love all those calls behind him. Wow. Jonathan would have made a set. Check, check. And the professor now has a flush draw to go with his gut shot. I don't know how Jonathan was supposed to call there with two sevens. Check. But would have been a bad call. It would have been a bad call, but boy, Fold. it'd feel pretty, pretty good right about now. Fold. Can't see the professor folding. No. The only question is if he should raise. No way should he fold. He's getting a pretty good price to just call. He's out of position. Hard to get value if you get there. I don't hate raising because Centro has a lot of hands like this in his range that are going to either fold now or on the river. Agreed. To aggression. Agreed. He definitely Some don't sort of counting don't going on? Yeah, he's, he was counting up the pot and now he just throws it away. Oh! That was one of the best cards you could have hit, Professor. I don't understand that. Wow. A king or a ten are the trouble cards there. Like a spade yeah. is a good card. It makes you have a really easy decision on the river if you're if you decide to just. That call. is my third favorite option there. Yeah, I guess he folded. He thought the pot wasn't big enough. He was not accounting for implied odds then. I suppose. Seems like it. Also, he could raise right now and just win yeah. sometimes. And no, no, it's just when called, still have reasonable equity. Wow, that is a surprising fold. Tight fold. Ken's finally got a hand to work with. I feel like he's been pretty card dead. Yeah, he has. He's had nothing. <laughs> he's watching Central run over the field. That's right. I said it. With his Nike sneakers. Central calling with the jack eight off. I mean, this. Uh, we got this corner over here now. These two guys are just like, you can't get anything through them. There's action know? corner, and then the other side is Asimov corner. Ass. Ass corner. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. That actually happened. Nice. Well, Centro does flop pretty well. <laughs> yeah, the second nuts is pretty good here. Ken's got some opportunities with yep. the king of clubs and the gut shot. Sure. I'm hearing from our terrible interns that this is the last hand. Oh, yeah. Okay. Centro with just the flat here. He has the jack of clubs as backup as well. Three yeah. And blocker, of course. Another nine. Not exactly what you want to see if you're Centro. But he gets, he is in position, so he's going to get to see how, what everyone does first. Check. Should so definitely be betting here. Yes. He chose not to raise the flop. He really has to bet here. It looks like he's going to do exactly that. Bet 130.
Jonathan can't love this spot. I think it's a fold. Oh, me too. But it's not great. Sometimes you're folding the best hand. I think this is just going to be fold-fold a lot of the time. Yeah. Jonathan still has Ken behind him. Ken can have ace-queen, aces, kings, other things. And, of course, central can have him beat. Yes. Which he does. And even if you're... You know, sometimes you're the, the few times you're ahead, you're sometimes killed on the river anyway. You're out of position. Just feels like a fold. You hit your jack, you make your straight, you're no good. Seems to be going through all that in his head right now. And he lets it go. And that'll do it for this episode of Poker Time. We'll see you guys next time to see if the gold medal Olympian can keep it up. <laughs>